Hello friends, so once again welcome to my channel and today we will see some numericals on the topic that we have discussed in our last video. That is we are going to design some memory modules using whatever is commercially available chips are there. So basically actually the topic will design a bigger size memory using some available smaller size chips. So the last video was your 2M by 32. This time we are going to do 8M by 32 memory using 512K by 8 chips. So, so see, the, we need to design this size memory using this size. While doing this type of numericals in the exam, sometimes we end up doing one mistake. Sometimes we forget, uh, we used to forget this K. If we will forget this K, then we may require or we will require a large number of chips. That will be a complete uh, means a mess up of the problem. So whenever you are doing the numericals, please take your data correctly from the given question. So 8M by 32 memory, the way we proceed last uh, in the last video, same thing we'll be doing. First, we'll find out how many such smaller size chips do I need to buy. What I will do? Bigger size divided by smaller size that we will do. Then next question is how many chips do I need to connect in parallel? Because here I require 32 bits of data, here I require 8, here I can provide only 8 bits of data from one location. So a 32 by 8 is 4. That means 512K by 8, such chips 4 we will connect in parallel so that each of them will give us 8 bits of data, total comprising 32 bits. This we will do. Then next we will find out how many such rows will be there. Because in a row, we have connected four number of columns. But how many rows will be there? That we need to find out. So very first thing, see, in case of 8M, how many address lines will be there? 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 20. It is 23 address lines. And this requires what? 19 address line. Where from I am getting this 19? 512 means 9, K means 10. So 19 address lines. So see, to solve the numerical, first we'll find out how many smaller size chips do I need to buy. So already I have explained this 8M by 32 divided by 512K by 8. So as a whole, I'll be getting 28, 2 to the power 28 by 2 to the power 22. It is 2 to the power 6. It is nothing but 64 number of chips. 64 chips we need to buy, right? Hope this one you know, 8M means 23. 512 means 19 and this is 5, this is 3. So 64 chips. Then how many we need to connect in parallel so that the spelling is parallel to meet the required data size. That is finding the number of columns. So for that bigger size memory requires 32 bits of data. Smaller size is giving me 8 bits of data. So what I will do? 4 such chips I will connect in parallel. Right? We will connect in parallel. Here the spelling mistake is there, right? Uh, then uh, to meet the 32 bits of data size, right? Uh, how get, uh, how I am getting this 4? By, by doing this 32 divided by 4. So that already I said, size of one location in bigger size memory divided by in smaller size. That is 32 by 8 is 4. That means 4 number of chips will connect in parallel. So indirectly we are telling that we require 4 number of columns of this size chip. The next point is how many rows? So to find the number of rows, total number of is element is 64, number of columns is 4. So what will be the number of rows? 64 by 4, answer is 16. That means 16 number of rows will be there. So now we know how to connect the memory chips. Then second point is how many address lines will go to the chip? Then how many uh, means lines will go to the decoder? What will be the number of outputs of the decoder? And all we need to decide. So see, in this numerical, we are connecting four such chips in parallel. And each of them is requiring what? 19 number of address lines. And this size chip is giving me how many address lines? 23. So 23 minus 19 will be how much? Your four. Four bits are left. These four bits, higher order four bits, will be connected to a decoder. And that decoder will produce how many uh, output lines? 16 output lines it will produce. And these 16 lines will be connected to the 16 rows. 
and in each row we will be having such four four chips right so depending on whatever value i'll provide one of the row will be selected whatever row is selected in that row whatever chips are there they are going to give us the data or they are going to store the data whatever we have provided on the data lines for a write operation so see here how to connect the address lines 8m by 32 so 23 address lines here 19 lines will go to this chip 23 address line 19 has gone to the this particular chips how many left so 16 rows of these chips are required so higher order four address lines out of 23 are connected to a decoder the output of the decoder will select a particular row out of how many out of 16 rows it will select one row and in the selected row four chips of this 512k by 8 will give or take eight bits of data each meeting our required size of 32 bits hope this numerical is clear to exactly similar to our previous numerical instead of 2m this time i did 8m by 32 so see here the point is i would like to mention is that in your suppose if the question comes in your exam no need to draw 64 number of chips you just show the structure right so see according to the structure we can see in a row eight number of columns are there and how many number of rows will be there it will be 16 number of rows will be there right so only we will do the numbering right it is zero number row and it is row number what no number 15 total 16 number of rows are there and this is coming from a decoder which is fed by the four input lines that is a higher order four address lines and 19 lines are going to all the chips 19 lines are going to all the chips right and each of them are giving me what 8 8 bits of data meeting my 32 bits no need to draw 64 only you saw dotted line and that will a numbering will tell us that how many chips you are connecting hope this numerical is clear next i'll proceed to one more so next question is please see the question question is a ram chips of this one a computer employs ram chips of 256 by 8 right and uh, the computer system needs 2k bytes of ram right and we need to design this memory module configuration right so see <clears throat> it is given that we need to design 2k bytes right ram and what is given to us from the market this one right so see 2k bytes means what we need to design a memory module of size 2k by 8 and what is available 256 by 8 right so how many such chips i will buy so that i can get this so 256 by 8 that i will do and then i will get whatever is the required number of chips that required 2k means what 2 to the power 11 256 means what 2 to the power 8 this both has gone so what is this 2 to the power 3 that means eight number of these chips we require right next we need to see how many rows and how many columns we are going to have so see to find the number of columns what was the strategy that in the bigger size memory module what is the data requirement 2k by 8 so this is 8 and smaller size is also giving me 8 8 by 8 is what 1 that means all the eight number of chips will connect in a single column all of them will be there in a single column right this we are going to do then how many rows will be there total is what 8 number of columns is 1 so number of rows will be what number of rows is also 8 right number of rows will be 8 so now we know how many rows how many columns are there next is how to connect the address lines see in case of 2k bytes memory 2k by 8 2k bytes means 2k by 8 so how many address lines are there 11 address lines because it is 2 to the power 11 in case of 256 by 8 how many address lines are required it is 2 to the power 8 it is 2 to the power 8 so 11 lines are there coming for this memory chip out of that eight lines will go to this particular commercially available chips how many left three are there three are remaining those three will be connected to a decoder and decoder will produce 
eight output lines and in each particular row we are going to have one one such chip this is our design so now i'll tell you once again the whole thing first point get the total number of chips required of the smaller size so my bigger size is 2k by 8 here see the numerical was too simple only you need to get the language 2k bytes of ram need to be designed 2k bytes mean in meaning is 2k by 8 right so 2k by 8 i am designing using this one so i got eight number of chips then finding the number of columns so to find the number of columns what do i used to do that here eight bits and there also it is eight bits so eight by eight is one so number of columns will be one in a column only there will be only one column right then to find the number of rows rows into columns equal to total our total was eight column is one so row will be eight so eight number of rows are there next is how to connect the address lines so here 11 address lines are there out of that eight lines will go to all of them all the eight chips if the address will go how many li lines will go eight lines will go so how many left three will be there so out of 11 first eight lines will be connected to all of these memory chips how many are left higher order three bits will be left they will be connected to a decoder and the output of the decoder will select a particular row right so how many output lines are will be there in the decoder eight lines will be there in the decoder you need not have to draw all eight rows you draw the first one you draw the last one in between you give dotted lines and these are the output of the decoder you give them numbering so we'll understand that how many rows are there and each of them will be giving your data and all of them are fed by the higher order address lines right all the chips will be fed by the higher order address line. sorry lower order address lines so address will go to everyone but who will respond whosoever is being selected by a row line right and how it is going to be decided that who is going to be selected by the input to the decoder depending on the input to the decoder one of the row will be selected and in the selected row the chip is going to respond for our read and write operation for the given address incoming right so this is also done then next i'll do one more here see this memory chip 256 by 4 capacity uh, chips are there we need to design 1 kb right 1 kb means what 1 k into 8 right so total size by 1 k by 8 and commercially available is 256 by 4 that means 8 chips are required done now see in my memory capacity i require 8 data lines from one location but this chip will provide me 4 bits of data so we need to connect such chips two in parallel that means number of columns will be two so that part is done the two number of uh, this one will be connected in the matrix so number of columns will be nothing but your eight by four is two right done then we can find the number of rows rows is what rows into columns equal to total so here rows i don't know columns i know two total element is eight so number of rows will be nothing but four only right so number of rows is four then we need to see how to connect the address lines so see here how many address lines will go come 10 out of that here how many will take it will take eight lines how many left two so those two will be connected to a decoder it will produce four output lines and in a row two such chips are connected in parallel right so whichever particular row is selected from that row the data will come to your data lines right this is how it is designed so see here 10 address lines are there eight lines will be used so the first eight lines will go to this particular memory chips and the remaining eight rows are there so higher order two lines uh, that out of eight rows actually number of rows is not eight number of rows is four out higher order two lines will be there they will select a, uh, that particular row and two chips of this one will respond by giving four bits of data each meeting our eight bits of data requirement so as a whole how we are going to connect two two chips in parallel and such how many rows are there four rows will be there and they are selected by the output of a decoder all of them have been given the address what uh, that eight bit of address are given to all of them right 
then 8 bit of address is coming to all of them. So whichever row is selected, 